What is up, people? Half Slab Bacon here with the fastest, simplest item elevator for 1.11. Now, guys, this is a dropper based item elevator. So, before we get into building it, I want to discuss some of the problems with dropper elevators and why this one is superior and how it solves some of those. First of all, now, first off, let's get into when to use a dropper item elevator and when not to, guys. Now, dropper item elevators are great for most of the situations where you're going to want an item elevator. Same for, save for two critical problems. And that is one where you want a beacon to run up the center. You can see light doesn't travel through droppers. So that immediately is a no-go. You're gonna have to go with a piston-based design so you can get something funky like that beacon there flashing in the back there. And we're gonna cover that in a separate tutorial titled My Advanced Item Elevator, which will be coming out probably tomorrow if you're watching this the day this is posted. If not, there'll be a link at the end of the video. Yeah, if it's up, the link will be there, peeps. So, all of these designs here are some old and some new dropper-based designs for uh, just a dispenser system, which is what we're using in our new item elevator. And what they all have in common is one thing. Can you see it? Save for this one right here, which we're building today. None of them have a torch anywhere, and they all have the comparator on subtract mode and that's our problem so comparator on subtract mode if you don't know what that means guys is when a comparator is on subtract mode as long as the signal going in the back is stronger than the signal going in the side it will pulse and that creates an ultra fast clock so we've got 15 14 13 12 15 minus 12, 1, 2, 3, and so on. It keeps cycling and alternating that 15, subtract, 3 down to 0, 15, subtract, and so on. The problem with this design, guys, is we'll show you using this one over here. It doesn't matter. See how it's holding four items? See that? And then it stops at 40. So as I said, the problem with this design is inherent in a comparator clock, the signal going in the back has to be the stronger than the signal going in the side. And as we can see here with 40 items in the dropper, there is no signal going in the side. So that's no good for say mob farms where you've got lots of items or just if you're picky and you don't want crap left in your droppers, man. Now. This is just a more old school design, not using the observer blocks you might see on the internet. All these could just have that three by three glass on top. And here's kind of one of the old designs we would use to get around that problem and empty out the droppers. And that would be to put a comparator here to strengthen that signal out to 15 before it goes back into our comparator. Now the problem with this one, guys, yes, it will leave no items behind, but as we can see, it's significantly slower because of the delay in the repeater. Yep, problem, isn't it? So we're gonna move to an inverted design because by using inversion, we can create a simple on off switch. So when there's something in the dropper, it's on. When there's not something in the dropper, it's off and that's as simple as we're gonna get, okay? One simple mechanic solves all those problems. So we're gonna start with an observer block, and this is the basic basis of this, is we're using an observer block clock. And for those of you that didn't know, if you have a signal constantly running in and out of observer blocks like this, they pulse, ultra fast. So we're gonna use that, that's how we're gonna do it. And then we're gonna invert it to give it an on off switch. So on top of our block, we're putting 
our dropper, then we're gonna put our comparator out. And you can see your faces over here, that's very important, okay? We're gonna put a block here. Now we're gonna put our other observer right here. From here, we're gonna finish off our torch by going like so, and you can see it's flashing. And then we're gonna put a torch there to lock it. From there, we can now start building our three by three up as high as you want it to go. And that's really it, guys. That is all there is to it. So in a sec here, I will show you how to build it side to side. Say if you're building it down at bedrock for like a slime farm and you want to make sure that you get this right because the change in setup is just a little bit different, not a lot different. So let's say you can't go a block underneath like this. Well, you're still going to want to start with your dropper, comparator out. We're still going to go to a block here, right? But now we're going to put our torch in front and then we're going to get out our good old observers, except this time we're going to go like so again with the happy face there and we're going to put the block off to the side we're going to add the redstone dust next to it there and we're going to go like this but you can see if we update it it keeps pulsing so we just need to put a redstone dust right there next to the torch to solve that problem and then you can start your glass right there that allows you to only put it one down it does have the nasty inconvenience of the fact that it comes off to a block to the side, but if you're doing it at bedrock and you have no choice, there is your design. Now guys, if you want to use a piston design or you want to handle an unlimited volume of items where you can add two droppers or three droppers, or technically even with four, if you wanted to with this, you need a mo much more advanced setup like this that uses pistons and stacks the items before they send it sends them up. So as I said, that should be going up tomorrow. And if it's already up, you'll see the link at the end of this video. Why don't we end on a high note and bam, fire our stuff off. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned a little bit about dropper elevators in 1.11. Smash that like if you did enjoy the tutorial to help others like yourself who might enjoy the content find the channel. And if you're new and you haven't already, hit subscribe for lots more videos peeps. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.